Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Please, the cells in the backpack, the backpack on the floor, please. Live long and prosper. Raise your hand. Hello, hello, everybody. Review the ionic bond, okay? For, let's do the, the one that we know best. That is sodium and chlorine, okay? Sodium has one electron in its last level, okay? be just like this and chlorine has seven electrons in its last level one two three four five six seven sodium has how many protons eleven okay and chlorine is on 17 so now this is uh, 11 protons, 11 electrons. And this goes with 17 protons, 17 electrons. Okay? So, for them to be happy, they need to have the last level full. Okay? This could take 7 electrons, but for that you need a lot of energy. So, it's easier for sodium to lose this electron. This electron goes to the chlorine. Okay? So, the number of electrons goes from 11 to 10, and here goes from 17 to 18. That's why sodium is positive, because it has one proton more than electrons, and chlorine is negative, because it has one electron more than protons. Okay, and they get together because they, have, they are opposite, okay, positive and negative. This is what you got to know and what you got to draw in the rest of uh, compounds, okay? I'm going to do another one and that's why it's one and one, okay? One sodium, one chlorine. One electron from here to there. Another example. Let's go with the magnesium and chlorine. Magnesium has two electrons in the last level, okay? So, it can fill two chlorines. One, two, three, four, five, seven, seven, one, two, three, six, seven. Which is the formula for magnesium chloride? Would be like this, crisscross the numbers, you don't write it once, this is the formula. This means that a molecule of magnesium chloride has one atom of magnesium and two of chloride. Why? Because with one magnesium you got two electrons, one going to this chlorine and this one going to this chlorine. And they're all happy because this has the last level full, he lost his last level, the last level is the other one, and this has seven elect eight electrons here and eight here. Okay? And the most difficult one would be like aluminum and oxygen. Aluminum has three, charge three, and oxygen charge two. It would go like this. Luminum, oxygen, crisscross the numbers, okay? So it would take one aluminum, another one, two electrons here, sorry, three, and three here. And three oxygens. Oxygen has one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 electrons in the last level. So, this 2 comes here, it has 8, this 2 comes here, it has 8, and this 2 comes here, it has 8. Okay? And that's what you gotta draw. Okay? So, uh, I think you began to do it, now do it. Okay? Come on. <laughs> 